Hi students, welcome to Music 1400. I am Todd Sorensen. I'll be your instructor for this course. If I do my job right and you participate in class, this should be one of the funnest courses that you take this semester. We talk about a variety of things in this course. We start by reviewing uh, multi-track recording, what it is, where it came from, how it was developed, and how it's used today. Second, we'll talk about the basic analog signal path, which is the path that our audio source takes on the way to being recorded. Third, we'll talk about analog and digital recording. Then we'll move on to virtual instruments and talk about basic synthesizer architecture. We'll cover MIDI, and then we'll move into Pro Tools, which is what you see on the screen here in front of you. Uh, Pro Tools is one of the premier top three or four digital audio workstations that are used to produce and edit the music that you hear. Finally, we'll look at Sibelius, which is one of the top two uh, music notation software programs, and show you how music is notated and written using the computer. So this class is all about learning the technologies used to create the music that you hear and listen to. I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself so you have a basic idea of where I'm coming from and why I've included some of the things in the course that I have. I've been involved in the music business for almost 30 years and I've been involved in nearly every aspect of the business so that's given me kind of a unique perspective upon which to build a course. I'm most known as a session drummer and percussionist and I played on hundreds if not thousands of CDs and all kinds of commercials and TV shows and films and a variety of other things and I still do an awful lot of recording today. I have a website called Studio Drums Now which is basically a way for clientele both locally and internationally to send me tracks, have me play on them and receive those finished tracks uh, without actually having to go to a studio so it's really convenient and time and cost effective. As I mentioned, I've been doing this for about two years, and I have clientele in Hong Kong, Brazil, Italy, as well as uh, various places throughout the United States. As a drummer and percussionist, uh, I also started a company, Drums On Demand, with two other partners. And the purpose of this website is to sell uh, drum loops uh, that I've created uh, to clientele, singers, songwriters, producers, etc., for the purpose of being able to import into their sessions live drum tracks. So this has turned into a long-term venture that's been very positive, something else I've been involved in. I also started a music library company a couple of years ago. I'd written as a composer for music library companies for the past about 15 years and decided to start my own music library company called Anarchy Music, and we have distribution here domestically in the U.S. as well as worldwide through uh, one of the largest distributors of production music uh, in the world. So that's been fun as well to develop that part of my interest in the music business. Two years ago, I started teaching at UVU and am now a full-time faculty member here, and I'm excited about that because it gives me the opportunity to give back to the students a lot of things that I have learned over the past 30 years in the business. One of the things that you'll find that I'll talk about a lot in class is how every aspect of the music business is affected by every other aspect. So the more you know about business, actually, the better it helps you as a composer or performer or player. The more you know about composition, the better player you are. The better player you are, the better composer you might be. Or the better composer you might be, the better you are able to mix or produce the final end product for the consumer. So all of the things that we'll talk about in class relate to each other and are very applicable and important items. So that's a little bit about Music 1400 and about myself. I look forward to seeing you in class or also having discussions with you online if you're taking an online section of this course. So let's get started. <laughs>